Hmm, this water looks beautiful. Maybe I'll go for a swim. There's just one problem, though. I think I may have forgotten my bathing suit at home. Hello everyone, my name is Jasirim, and welcome back to Let's Play Cuphead. In the last episode, we fought two bosses, we got through a run and gun level, and we battled some ghosts in a mausoleum. And in this episode, we are going to continue fighting some bosses, starting with whoever's at this boat here. But first, a word with this coin person. Hello, Mr. Coin Person. What do you have to say? <laughs> I'll be a monkey's uncle if I'm putting my moolah in the bank. For all I know, the devil probably controls the place too. They'll never get a hold of my gold if I spread it all around. And if sudden Joe happens to find a coin or two, good for him. That's what I say. <laughs> okay then. Alright, so... Let's just move on by going to Clip Joint Calamity, starring Ribby and Croaks. Now, this level, it's a bit like the root... The... Root pack level, considering that there's multiple guys that we're fighting, except unlike the root pack, there's only two of them. And of course, the tall one spits fireflies, of course. And I don't mean figuratively, I mean literally. Alright, jump, and jump! While this one here launches flaming boxing gloves. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! Gotta say, I am I am enjoying the background. Okay. Okay, stay focused, Jasirium. Don't get Don't get distracted by those two flies dancing in the background. My, what a wide mouth you have. Oh god. Ah! Did you just eat him? And they're a slot machine now. What? Ah! Stop spitting coins at me! Alright. What do we have? Three times. Uh, oh no, I hate this attack. Alright, so in order in order to deal with this Ah and I'm dead. You went for broke and now you're croaked. Alright, so with the third phase specifically, it follows a randomized pattern. Because once you pull the lever. There will be several different patterns that you will have to deal with. Like as you saw with the three tigers. That one has a bunch of little platforms. Well, not necessarily platforms, but... But spikes... Well, not spikes. Platforms with spikes and little orange balls bouncing out of them. Alright, so... If the slot below is not open, you can't damage the slot machine. Yeah, like three balls. Here, you have to take a look at the pattern to dodge. Ow. Ah, three bulls again.
Boom! Oh no, not the tigers again! Ow! <sighs> okay, plan B. Hit me with all your punches. It's not gonna do a thing. Oh boy! What even are you clapping at me? Okay, whatever it is you're launching at me, cut it out. Oh boy. Oh no, not the tigers again. Okay, that was close. Ow! And I just got sniped by a coin. I am not much a fan of that. Coins at me, you. Okay, can you just die already? Oh no. Yes! Victory is mine. I don't care. You got the Ruby and Croak Soul contract. Okay then. I think we have enough time for one more boss or something of the nature. Okay. What's that? You two want to fly in a plane like I do? Ha! You're not sitting in any cockpit till you study those blueprints. Okay. Aeroplane blueprint. Alright, so X to shoot. B special. A to parry. Why to... Aw, I look... Why to shrink? Aw, I look cute as a plane. Okay, let's get out of here, shall we? I guess you two mugs are ready for the wild blue yonder. Just remember, those birds you're flying have their own tricks. Your fancy fighting moves on the ground don't apply up there. Although, you can still parry like the dickens. Be sure to shrink yourselves when the need arises. But remember, when you're short, so is your range, see? Well, good luck, I suppose. Okay. 
All right. Next up, threatening Zeppelin. Okay, I'm pretty sure everyone has done that joke already. How she looks like olive oil. Design wise. Ow! That was rude! Ow! And the laugh. Okay. Those laughs hurt. <laughs> you will never defeat me with your. You will never defeat me with your tornadoes and what have you? Oh lordy! <laughs> what are you even chanting anyway? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Take this, Hildeberg. Oh, what the hell? Okay, that is freaky. That is freaky. Oh, jeez. I mean, can you imagine? Ah! Damn it! You lost too soon, and I was only half moon. But as I was saying, yeah. Can you imagine this game coming out in an earlier in an earlier year, like in say the '90s or the early 2000s? And you saw that as a kid? Yeah. That'd be pretty terrifying when you think about it. Toro! Toro! Ow! How... How dare you! Just... How dare you! Whoa! Oh no, oh no! Ah! Okay, so when dealing with Hilda, ow! When she launches that thing in that form, you have to watch where that that portal in which direction it's firing from. Fitting, isn't it? I'm a blimp, you're a wimp. Well, screw you! Don't you patronize me with your taunts, you olive oil looking bitch! Charge! Whoa! 
Go, my missiles! Like right there. If it starts shooting that direction, go the opposite direction. Okay, seriously. Okay, seriously. You trying to shoot down Jack Skellington? What is up with this? Whoa! Ha! Aha! Toro! Oh no, this is new. This is new. I don't remember fighting you. Well, actually, before this channel, maybe I do. Ow! Ah! You won't get too far. It's been foretold in the stars. Hurry. Are you sure about that? Ow! Okay, that's a retry right there. Whoa! Okay, that was close. Charge! Oh no, I hate this form! For that reason! The stars that follow after the arrow, they're relentless. Okay, enough hassle. And that moon is still terrifying. Alright, so in this phase you have to avoid stars and UFOs. Because why not? Sure, let's get some aliens up in here. Take this moon! Boom! Aha! Alright. 
B minus, I don't care. I mean, I probably would have cared in part one, but I don't care here. Alright! Now that that's over and done with, we have two more things that we need to do. And that is going to have to wait in the next episode. So I'm just gonna walk along this path and... Stop right here. So, my name has been Jasirium. This has been Let's Play Cuphead, and in the next episode, we are going to finish up World 1. Well, Inkwell Isle 1, I should say. So until then, I will see you all next time. Ciao!